We welcome to Slime DR News with your host, Seabrock35. OSC query is almost here. Reset mounting fix data. Virtual desktop for the quest with FDE. It's a really exciting time right now. So, first, beta testing the new features in Slime VR server is actively ongoing. OSC query allows the quest to send HMD and controller data to the Slime VR server and it's almost done. I have been testing this today, and it seems to function very well. Here's some footage I took of testing Floor Clip in Standalone Quest. This will also allow the use of automatic body portions, as well as give you a floor in the Quest Standalone. Yay! Okay, next. Butterscotch made a mounting reset fix data. What does it fix? It allows you to be able to do the full reset, then be able to turn to do mounting reset and still get good results. Before, you had to keep the headset facing the same direction for both resets. Thank you, Butterscotch. To try that beta test, check out the Slime VR Discord server and look in the beta testing forum channel. And finally, Virtual Desktop now passes to the full body estimation and tracking data from Quest headsets. This lets you use less trackers with both the Quest 2 and Quest 3 by estimating the arms on the Quest 2 and actual arm tracking on the Quest 3. With chest and hip estimation also available. I have tried this out for a bit and here's some cool things I did. I'll explain more. Arm estimation works well enough for standing and dancing, but it breaks down a bit with certain poses, on Quest 2 especially. Index finger or hand tracking requires good lighting, and I found it to not really be that great, so I turned it back on. Chest estimation. Chest, es estim chest emulation works okay, but it is not as responsive as an actual tracker there. I would say it's okay for low intensity VR, but not awesome for dancing. Hip estimation. This is not good to send through to slime from the quest as the hip didn't seem to have that good. I found if you have slime VR set to have a waist, it could use the emulated chest and because of having hip width, things look worked a lot better. All cap with emulated trackers. Slime VR server can pass through all the body emulation points to DMC, which allows you to use your HMD and controllers along with lower body Slime VR set for full body mocap recordings. I like using arm estimation with my Quest 2, and I can see people who only have a minimal Slime VR setup will benefit from it a lot. However, with that said, I have gone back to using my normal 8 tracker setup, which I feel is more accurate since they are actually tracking, rather than estimating. Thank you to all of the wonderful Slimebeer devs and Dentex with Virtual Desktop, and to you, the Slimebeer community, for all the feedback and helpful advice. See you next time!